Thank you for everybody here, Lord God. I pray that will be done on today. Right now, we repent for any sins we have done, knowingly and unknowingly, Lord God. Let's keep us in your presence. We thank you for just being born, Lord God, for, for, for all of mankind, Lord God, so we can so we can uh, be set free from sin's destructive power controlling our lives, Lord God. We're not perfect people, but you are perfect God, Lord God. So continue to help us, Lord God, as you perfect our imperfections through Christ on the daily. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So. Praise the Lord. Let's see if it's better okay. here. Different spots where it goes out. Um, so the title of the message is straight to the point here. Jesus Christ is the one and only true gift. He's the one and only true gift. We get many gifts on Christmas or gifts in life that we... Uh, we have, we get, or whatever, but Jesus Christ is the one and only true gift. Yes. Um, so, the whole important matter is we want to, the Christmas season, Christmas time, or whatever is going on, our, our, we should be focused on exalting Christ and Christ alone. Yeah. I, I tell everybody that the main thing that the enemy does is he hides things in plain sight. And what he did was he wants to take the glory away from Christ. Glory away from God. That's his whole plan. Kill, steal, and destroy. That's all he wants to do. He's not he's not he's not motivated by racial racial pride, he's not motivated by money, he's not motivated by status, he's not motivated by anything but by hate and hate for all of mankind and for God and God's people. So his whole thing is to get us to um not be focused on the, the, the our true purpose in life and our true purpose is to worship God. Our true purpose is to glorify Christ. And, and, and he, want, he, he wants to focus on thinking our purpose is to, to get this or to have a job or to or to be the best basketball player in the world or foot, football player or the best doctor. That's not our purpose at all. We can glorify Christ in doing that. But our purpose is to, to, to worship God. Our purpose is to we were, we were created to worship. Amen. We were created for, is to just just have fun and party and do what we want. We're created to worship God. Amen. So Jesus Christ is one and only true gift. Support this scripture. Matthew 18 through 25, Romans 6, 23. Key principle. The one and only true gift we have in Christ, Jesus, is ir irreplaceable. It's irreplaceable. Can, can nothing replace the one and only true gift, gift we have in Christ Jesus? Because we're going to see here in the word what, what happened and, and why we must understand. Yeah. We must understand that Christ has to be exalted, especially in these end times. When Satan and his antichrist is on the rise. We got to understand that. We got to stay focused. Don't get don't get caught up. We can't get caught up in all what's going on around us and, mm -hmm. and focus on those things. Stop, guys, back there. Right now. Go sit over there, Kimon. Go sit over there, please. Go over there. Um. So Jesus Christ is the one and only true gift. Let's go to Matthew one. 18 through 25. You guys go over there. You guys go sit over there. Read. Okay, now. Sit over there. Sit on the bench over there. Go ahead, Elijah. Come over here, baby. Henry, come on over here. Matthew 1. 18 through 25. Matthew 1, 18 through 25. We're going to go see what the word is telling us here. Okay. Yeah. Are we there? Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph. Before they came together, he was found, um, she was found, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. When they said before they came together, that before they were intimate um, sexually, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost, meaning the Holy Ghost impregnated her. Amen. And Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make Elijah, go have a seat, buddy. Okay. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not 
to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on. See? Okay. See, he didn't understand yeah. uh, at first how, how she was pregnant. You know, he thought that uh, she she did some 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 um, um, sexual immorality yeah. and had sex outside of marriage and got pregnant. But the Holy Spirit, the, the angel of the Lord, told him that it was the Holy Spirit, it was God that impregnated her, impregnated her. So. It says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, meaning Savior, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of, the Lord, um, the Lord by the, the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her first firstborn son, and called his name Jesus. So, it tells us there that is a miraculous um, thing. The Holy Spirit um, um, impregnated the Virgin Mary to to uh, bring forth. Son of God, to bring forth our Savior, God in the flesh, Amen. And it doesn't say that Mary is 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 is, is uh, more higher than anybody else on this planet, yeah. or was more higher than anybody else on this planet. So we don't worship Mary. Yeah. She just was a vessel, just like we are vessels. We don't worship any man or any woman on this earth. Only God in the flesh, who is Jesus Christ, are we to worship. And that's what we must understand. That's 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 what the enemy wants us to think that we should worship people because God used people but we are to worship Jesus Christ and Christ alone we're just vessels so I tell people don't worship me don't think highly of me just look at me as, as a messenger of, of, of God don't think highly of me to, to, to think I'm higher than anybody else I, I'll make mistakes just like everybody else and and gonna continue to make mistakes just like everybody else till I go on the glory right all of us right yeah, because no man can can be justified by uh, following the law meaning no flesh can be justified in the presence of God. Yeah. So if we are to be perfect people, then we have fallen from grace if we think we can do that. We can't do that. But we are to have a heart to turn away from things that's contrary to God's word. And, and, yeah. and if we know that it's contrary, we can't justify it. We can't continue to live, live, live according to the lie that Satan has put out there. Who is the father of lies? Amen. So Jesus Christ is the one and only true gift. We, we just read it in Matthew 1, 18 to 25. Let's go to Romans 6, 23. Romans 6, 23. So, some people think that Christmas is just about um, the recognition of, of Christ being born. It's, it's not just about the recognition of him being born. It's about us worshiping and glorifying Christ alone. Not about him being born, but also about him dying on the cross, and also about him rising from the dead for our justification. The whole thing about we should we should be uh, celebrating now is 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 eternal life in Christ through Him. We should be letting people know that He's the one and only true gift, and uh, uh, and He's the, He's the greatest gift to, to man. Salvation is the greatest gift we can have. Eternal salvation. And, and we must understand that there's nothing can compare to, to that what we see with our two eyes. Amen. Romans 6, 23. Watch this. This is going to tell us right here what the gift is, who the gift is. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God, see, the gift of God is eternal life through who? Jesus Christ our Lord. So, Jesus Christ is the one and only true gift. If the wages of sin is death, that means we all deserve death. That's right. Don't that mean that? Yeah. So, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So we have a gift that's been given. And we need to receive it. How do we receive it? We receive it by um, receiving him into our heart. The heart of repentance towards our sin nature on the day to look at him. We receive it by, by looking to trusting in him. Yeah. Alone. Apart from works, apart from um, fair city tradition of men in the New Age Church, and apart from 
titles and apart from anything we can see with our two eyes. That's how we receive the gift. The gift it comes with nothing else but the gift. Nothing is attached to the gift of who he is, right? And he is eternal life. He says that he's the resurrection and the life. When, when, when they were crying about uh, about um, Lazarus, Lazarus dying, Lazarus, he said, I am life. I am the resurrection. Oh, he is eternal life. Elijah, go. Let's sit down over there, buddy. Elijah, come on. So, Jesus Christ is the one and only true gift. We must get this in our hearts, mind, and spirit. And any, if we are, are thinking, thinking about Christmas time, the time of year that everybody celebrates and most people celebrate, we, all, we all must understand that this is not about the gifts. It's not about just giving gifts and receiving gifts or whatever the case may be. It's about um, the, the, one, the one who was given to us as God in the flesh um, to save us from our from ourselves. Christ came to save us from ourselves. Do y'all did y'all know that? Jesus Christ came to save us from ourselves. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, he did. So that's that's what this, that's what this time is about. That's what this time is about. That's what all all our life is about. Look at the Christ and. You know, we must understand this because growing up as a kid, I never thought about waking up in the morning thinking about Jesus Christ. I thought about those presents, right? And that's what the enemy want. He, he, he touched the, the hearts of children because he wants us wants us to early get it in our mind to be compromising to this wicked world system. So he put that in our minds as a kid, so that, that kind of stagnated us spiritually um, because we thought, okay, well, we might have been an afterthought. Stop, stop playing. Get him Might have been an afterthought um, of us saying, okay, thank God, thank Jesus. But the first thing we were worried about when we were kids were getting that. Go over there, Uncle. Yeah, the first thing we was worried about when we were kids was getting that, that uh, gift early in the morning. We was, we was focused on that. How much time we got? Twelve. Okay. We was focused on that. So let's make sure I is glorified alone, alone, apart from all the other stuff. We gotta, we got, we have to understand that nobody's gonna go to hell because you bought a Christmas gift or see the Christmas gift. But the whole point of the matter is, we gotta understand what this is about. God wants us to understand that the enemy, he does things to make it seem like it's, it's, it's to glorify Christ or to bring glory to the kingdom of God, and it's really. It's really uh, pulling us away from the true meaning and the true power of, of Christ. Just think about if we stuck to just glorifying Christ on, on, on a day yep. like this. Nothing else. How many people can get saved? Right? But we, you know, the enemy put that other stuff in, that commercialism and all the trees and the lights and all that. We focus on all that other stuff. And we lost sight of who Christ, what well, Christ coming. We lost sight of it. Even if we talk about it, it's still it's a it's a faded thing. So when you add something with Christ, it's faded. Now it's faded because our, our mind goes to the to the natural first. I don't care. You can act super spiritual all you want. Your mind goes to the natural yep. first. Thirteen. Okay. So our minds are going to the natural first. So when, when that was added, it kind of faded what what God wanted to happen. Yeah. In us knowing. What, yeah. So. That's what we gotta we gotta keep it Jesus. We gotta keep the focus on him so people can be saved. Yes. Right? Yes. That's our whole uh, our whole motivation in life. Yes. That's why we do what we do. I don't I don't do this just to be up here. I do this because I want to see people empowered, strengthened, corrected, um, encouraged in Christ. Because that's that's what our our, our hearts need to be, amen. Yeah. Stop that little rock. <laughs>